semi variable cost so you're going to take a quick look at the lecture outline we'll first define what a semi variable cost is we'll move on to discuss the high and low method the definition a semi variable cost also known as semi fixed cost or mixed cost has a mixture of fixed and variable components so costs are fixed for a certain level of activity or production or consumption and they become variable after this level is exceeded now, if no activity occurs it means that a fixed cost will still be incurred so let's look at some examples of semi-variable cost the first is remuneration workers salary is fixed for any work done within the normal working hours however they are paid for any job executed outside the normal that is over time varies with time so the more hours they work outside the normal working hours the more they are supposed to be paid now remuneration for sales staff also has a fixed portion that is their salary and a variable portion which is the commission which they typically earn dependent on the achievement of a prescribed target now other staff pay such as managers may consist of a fixed component being their salary and a variable portion such as an annual bonus the cost of maintaining a factory machine or a vehicle is semi-variable a certain level of expense is necessary to keep it from deteriorating whether production is ongoing or not and is deemed as fixed the cost will increase which becomes variable in proportion to the movement in level of activity so when the activity increases with the usage of the machine then the maintenance cost will increase in addition to the fixed component that is supposed to keep the machine functional now a telephone expense is another example of a semi-variable it normally has a flat rate which is incurred for the period so far as you subscribe to the telephone company's service there is a cost that you will pay irrespective of whether you use it or not then the charges will apply for extra usage there are other examples but we're limited to these three let's move on to the high and low method high and low method is used to try to separate or segregate fixed costs from the variable components giving a limited amount of data now this method takes the highest and lowest levels of activity and compares them to the total cost at each level let's look at the steps involved in the high and low method first we would have to find the variable cost per unit we will do so by taking the total cost at the highest activity level and less the total cost at the lowest activity level so if you're looking at the maintenance of a machine the cost incurred when the machine is used at its highest then we less it with the cost incurred at the lowest usage of the machine we will divide it by the unit at the highest activity level less the unit at the lowest activity level for the abbreviations tc stands for total cost then step two we will now have to find the fixed cost we will do so by picking the total cost at the highest activity level then we we'll less it by the total variable cost now we can find the total variable cost by multiplying the units at the highest activity level by the variable cost per unit and the variable cost per unit is what we found in step one tvc stands for total variable cost step three we now find the total cost for any preferred activity or production level so we'll do that by adding the fixed cost the total variable cost let's quickly test our understanding so maintenance costs for the first four months of 2015 are as follows so for january they produce 450 units the cost of its maintenance was 4500 total cost i mean for february was 420 units produced cost was 4350 march was 380 units produced leading to a cost of 4150 dollars april 400 units produced with a relative cost of 4250 we are now to calculate the fixed and variable cost using the high low method and then the total cost of producing 700 units let's move to the solution so step one is to identify the variable cost per unit as the formula stipulated we'll do so by finding the difference between the total cost at the highest activity level 
and the total cost at the lowest activity level. We will divide by the unit at the highest activity level being less by the unit at the lowest activity level. So from the example, the highest activity level total cost was $4,500. The lowest was $4,150. So we less it. We divided by the production unit at the highest, which is 450 to which the 4,500 relates. And we less it by 380 units, which also produce the total cost of 4,150. So the variable cost per unit will be $350 divided by 70, producing $5. Step two, we will now have to find the fixed cost. We'll do so by taking the total cost at the highest activity level, which was $4,500. Then we we'll less it by the total variable cost per unit. Okay, so when you have a total cost and you less total variable cost, what you get is a fixed cost. Now the total cost at the highest activity level was $4,500. We now less it by the total variable cost, which is $2,250. We got that by multiplying the total output or units at the highest of 450 units, multiplied by the variable cost per unit of $5, which we worked in the earlier slide. So the fixed cost now will be $2,250. So when we come to Step three, finding the total cost at 700 units. We've already found the total fixed cost. We also found the variable cost per unit. So total cost, the fixed cost was 2,250. Then we add the total variable cost of 3,500. We got that by multiplying the variable cost per unit of $5 by the 700 units. So the total cost for an output or activity level of 700 units will give us 5,750.